Hello guys, welcome back to my channel. So in today's video, I'm gonna be doing a little bit of a different video. I've actually never done one of these before, but I've always wanted to do one. I just never really got around to it. I'm going to be doing a clean my car with me type of video. So I'm just gonna clean my whole car. It is disgusting, it is a mess. It is just bad in my opinion for me. It is a complete disaster. I was always really good about keeping my car clean, but after I had my second child, I have a five month old right now and I also have an almost four year old. Um, after I had my baby, I just kind of let it go. I feel like the more kids you have, the more you let certain things kind of go. And my car was one of them. I just stopped caring about like how clean and neat it was all the time. I'm a very clean and neat person, but my car was one of the things that I just kind of like forgot about. It just got pushed on the back burner, but I definitely want to get better at it. And I don't want to let it continue to be as messy as it is. So we are going to clean it out today. I'm going to show you guys a before and after. It is really just like disgusting. Like it's disgusting. This is real. This is a real dirty car tour. So are you guys ready for this? Here we go. This is the front. It's really sunny outside. So I always have a bunch of receipts and crap in here. Usually there's straw wrappers on the ground. There's usually a cup or two or three in here. There is a bunch. Look at that. Like, what is that? That is just not okay. All of this, actually. This is all so dirty. Like, look in there. Ew. Gross. There's a freaking Taco Bell bag right here on the ground. This is the worst, which is the back seat where the girls reside in the car. Literally tortilla chips on the ground. I never used to let Grace enough snacks in her seat, but now I do lately, so definitely need to clean this out. Oh my gosh, this is just bad. <laughs> this is so bad. And then my trunk, which is mostly a stroller, but there's a lot of junk. Oh my gosh, there's just so much junk everywhere. Okay, so now that you've seen how messy and gross and dirty it is, we're gonna get to cleaning. All right, so the first thing I'm gonna do is I'm taking all of the crap out of my trunk and kind of sorting through what's garbage and what I'm going to keep in the trunk. You drive me crazy, I want you to stay Now I'm here Throughout this video, you guys will see me pull all the mats out. So this is my trunk mat. It's really dirty because the stroller is always in there. Same with the trunk. So I'm taking that out to eventually get washed. And then I'm just going to go ahead and vacuum. I keep this neat little trunk organizer back there. I just keep random like extra of wipes, clothes, diapers. I keep cleaning stuff back there. They're just like emergency extra items. Then I'm gonna be going through all of the toys that were on the ground because there's always lots of toys just scattered throughout the car and I'm gonna collect those up to go through later on. And then once again, I'm pulling out more mats for them to be washed eventually. You say you're sorry so we forget about it. Simple as that, but I don't While I'm doing this, I'm also collecting all of the garbage and just extra big stuff, big pieces of garbage that can't really be vacuumed up. I'm gonna get that all collected before I start vacuuming. So then all the mats that I pulled out of the car, I just usually throw some dish soap on them and then just wash them with like the highest setting on the hose. That way I can have enough time for them to dry out in the sun for the rest of the time that I clean my car. So when I'm done, all the mats will be clean and dry and ready to go back into my car. So usually when I'm vacuuming out my car, I do take it to like the car wash and use their vacuums there because they're just so much better and they just do a way better job. But today, uh, for the sake of this video, I'm just using my Dyson vacuum. It does a good job. It just doesn't do as great of a job as those powerful vacuums at the car wash. I did take out the like in 
inserts that come with my car and I just vacuumed those up. Um, so I have two like protectors. I have the ones that came with my car and then I have like the weather proof ones. And then I also am just cleaning out the like sides of the doors, all the crumbs that are in there. Hi! <laughs> She's like, are you kidding me? You've been outside this whole time? <laughs> After I just spent like an hour vacuuming, it usually takes way longer when I use the Dyson vacuum than going to use the big ones at the car wash. I go ahead and wipe down all the surfaces. I usually wipe down these little like um, back of the seat protectors. These are a lifesaver. I'll try to have all the stuff linked uh, in my description that I use in my car. But I also just use the Armor All like protective spray. I don't even know what it's called, but good stuff and then for more messier spots in the car like in the cracks and crevices like in the cup holders and stuff in the doors i'll use like an all-purpose cleaner so i'm just gonna wipe down all the surfaces in the car Now I'm going to take some glass cleaner and I'm just going to clean all of the windows on the car. So the windshield, all the windows on the doors, and then the rear view mirrors as well. And I don't really break too easily, but I'm worth it cause I'll slip into your dreams tonight. Oh, so give me, so give me your all. I'll take it, I'll take it to Mars. Oh, I'll stick like glue inside your mind. Just watch me breathe. So my vacuum did die because it is wireless, so I just finished up cleaning the mats that go in my car, the carpeted ones, and then I went ahead and got my dried weather mats. They dried out in the sun out in the driveway. It was perfect timing because they were like perfectly dry. So I'm just putting all of the mats, all the protective stuff back into the car. I got you wrapped around my finger, but don't you try to call me tomorrow. All right, and then for Graceland's car seat, like I said, I do give her snacks, but she knows not to make too much of a mess. So I just cleaned out the cup holders, vacuumed them, and sprayed them out. That was really the only thing that needed cleaned. And her car seat can be unzipped and everything and thrown in the washer. So if it did need to be done, it's a really easy cleaning job. And then I also vacuumed off like fuzz that was stuck on um, the straps on her car seat. But other than that, that's all I really did for that. And then obviously Hazel's side is not messy because she 
she's a baby. Right here I was going through Graceland's toys that she collects over time and brings them to the car and they get really gross to be honest because they're on the floor with like dirt and stuff so I was just going through the ones that weren't gross and that could be kept in the car but all the rest of them I just went ahead and thrown away and then she keeps them in this little basket so I just organized them and put them back into the basket. All right, and then I put all of the stuff back into my trunk. So the stroller, my grocery bags, I have like a blanket, extra coats. It's just like stuff that I keep in the trunk. And yeah, that's pretty much it. Here's my clean car. Everything is nice, fresh, sparkly, clean, feels great, feels amazing. Nothing feels better than a clean car. Actually, there's a lot of things that feel better than a clean car, but that's like on the list of things that feel great. So yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this. I hope you have motivation now to clean your car. It's a great time to do it since we're all stuck at home. Go get out, get outside, clean your car, and then you won't feel like crap about yourself every time you get in your car. So that's it. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Give it a thumbs up if you did. Make sure to subscribe, and I will see you guys in my next video. Peace out.